Hello again, most esteemed viewers. My name is Jekyll Stein Gray, and welcome to another episode of Jekyll Stein Gray Talks. I'm, I haven't written a uh, script or, or outline or anything, and I'm a bit under the weather. Uh, not under, the, not sick. I'm, I'm tired from work. Um, well, speaking of which, um, and I was at work today. I saw a bunch of, you know, coworkers and customers who were wearing, you know, like 9-11 Remembrance t-shirts. And I was like, hmm, this seems, a, it seems like it's in poor taste uh, to try and profit off of a tragedy like this. Um, so I decided to do the same thing, but ironically, because that makes it okay. Oh, jeez. In all, in all seriousness, um, I, I think this is... This is a topic that really interests me, and when I think a lot of people, especially older people who um, were alive, or well, who could remember when this happened, might be interested to hear what I have to say, so I don't know, I figured I'd, I'd post, you know, this is a Gen Z, you know, person's account of memories of, that they had of 9-11, <laughs> or lack thereof, like my experience with 9-11, because I was five months old when it happened. Um, and growing up, like, I, I can't remember a time when I wasn't aware of it, but I remember a time when, it, like, I didn't really know what it was. I remember thinking that it was, like, involved, like, literal, like, bomber planes or something. Like, it was a literal attack, you know, by a, um, by a foreign, foreign state or something, not a, um not a, you know, not a terrorist organization. And I didn't know for a long time about the, the you know, the planes. Like, I didn't know the basics of it. Um, and, uh, um, again, I was a baby when this happened. Um, and I remember, so that, that kind of phase of my, you know, 9-11 understanding lasted about until I was in, I think it was fourth or fifth grade. Um, I remember I've been to se I went to several elementary schools and I remember which school it was it was somewhere between fourth and sixth grade I think it was the earlier um, someone had there was someone had like left a 9-11 book in like just lying around and like some older student I think gave it to me because they were like no one else is interested in this do you want it and I was like yeah sure you know let's see what this is all about and it was you know it was a book that was if I remember right I actually tried to I tried to find it. I didn't look, didn't look very hard. Um, I, I might, you know, post it on, you know, social media or whatever if I find it. Um, cause I think I still have it around. Um, but there was this, um, I, I remember this, um, uh, so I, I read it and it was a very broad, you know, overview of what happened of like, you know, like what happened, you know, why, uh, I heard there were like these, these this like timeline on the bottom of every page of the book you know um like what happened you know who did it why they did it you know etc it was actually it was you know and some of the information was questionable they when they're talking you know when they're talking about islam which looking back it was a pretty you know good account of it and it explained why you know you should not be scared of muslims and all that um but um it um they're, they're talking about the rise of islam in the um in the um uh in the you know in the uh seventh century ad and um it, like they mentioned they use the phrase roman empire which at the time because it was a huge roman word i was like that's not right it took me a while to realize they're talking about the Byzantine Empire being the one that's weakening, not the Roman Empire. And I guess the Byzantine Empire is the continuation of the Roman Empire, or was the continuation of the Roman Empire. But it was weird. Anyway, you know, so there was some weird factual claims. And also, I was reading the book after Bin Laden had been killed. And I, um, I hadn't, um... So I, and the book was written before Bin Laden was killed. So like, I, there was like stuff I knew that wasn't, um, you know, that, that was inaccurate, but it was still, you know, a decent overview, you know, especially as a kid who was kind of interested in this, um, but never really like, 
experienced it or didn't even really know what it was. Um, so that, you know, so I kind of, you know, I knew what it was, you know, went to Germany, came back, you know, um, like kids do in, in eighth grade, you know, I should talk about that in one of these videos. Anyway, um, I don't normally do, you know, personal stuff. Um, no, oh, that's a bit, anyway, um, the, so we went to, so I get to high school and, you know, we're, we're every, you know, I remember about every, you know, year we, we would talk about 9-11 in, you know, history classes on, you know, 9-11. And my, I remember this one year we watched a video in social studies class, you know, the only known footage of the first plane hitting the tower. Um... And I remember just, like, sitting there and going, like, like, what? You know, like, we, I think that was at the end of class. I went to my next class, and I was just, like, I had to sit there and, like, process for a moment, you know. And I had, I knew what happened. I knew how it ended. I, you know, I knew, you know, what, like, I, I wasn't worried about, like, who's attacking us, you know. I didn't, I, I knew you know, all the information I, you know, I had read about it, I had seen pictures, but I had never seen it on video. And I kind of realized, like, you know, there's something about just, like, seeing it, like, that's just, you know, horrifying, you know. Um, it's just awful, you know, in that it's terrible, but also there's this, like, it's like watching a train crash, you know. It's terrible, but you can't look away, Um um, and so I just, I, I'm like just sitting there and I like had to process it for a while and just like, it was, it was, it was, um, it was awful. Um, and so then I, I, you know, then, you know, couple, like, let's see, this would have been, you know, more, a little over a year ago from when I'm recording this video. Um, it was during, uh, it was in March, uh, 2020, um, we were in New York, we actually cut our vacation short from New York, um, I actually saw, I was actually, um, random aside, you know, skip ahead a bit if you want to skip this, um, I actually saw the last performance of Town on Broadway before they shut everything down, you know, um, so we actually cut our vacation short because we were worried about getting caught in New York, uh, we were, we didn't know what was going to happen when everything started closing down. Um, but anyway, before that, we went to these, um, to the memorial for the first time, which I had never been to, um, cause I'd never been to New York before. And I remember just like, there's these, there's these big holes, you know, like, like suppose like marking where the towers were. And I remember just like looking there and just thinking, you know, like something was here and now I just feel the emptiness of it, which is, a, you know, I'm almost positive what the monument was intended to evoke, you know, like, like, and I, I, I never had, you know, like, so that was another, like, it added to my understanding in a way, you know, like, I, I, I noticed, like, I was like, I, I recognized, like, the scale of these buildings, and on some level, at least, I could see how big they were, you know, in terms of, not in terms of height, obviously, um, and, um, so I was like, I was like, huh, you know, this is a very somber and harrowing moment. Um, I, I've also like developed a fascination with, you know, like bu the Bush era and all that, um, and Green Day's music, uh, on the subject and whatnot, partly because it's like interesting because I was so young, you know, like because this was happening, this was in my lifetime, I just don't remember any of it, you know, um. So I remember like the last you know, the little anecdote I'll share. I don't know. I don't have very many. Uh, this isn't very, I don't know. This, I'm just curious. It's like, this doesn't seem like it's anything worth sharing, but there's also, again, most people alive today remember this, you know, and I'm, I'm, and if you're, you remember, I'd love to hear your thoughts, you know, or not, you know, cause you, you don't want to make them public. I you know, obviously understand. Um, I remember, so the last, the last little thing I will share was that the, there was this conversation, like this was really recent, you know, this is like kind of been a timeline thing moving up. This was like a 
couple months ago, I think. Um, I just like mentioned to my parents, you know, like every, there was like some song about it that had the phrase "Let's roll" in it, and I was like, every time I hear the phrase "Let's roll," I think of the the passengers in that plane that crashed in Pennsylvania. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's just I can't like it's just an awful thing that happened, you know. Like, I don't know. I mean, like, it's one of those things where it's like, you, you feel like there is some eloquence to be said. At least I feel like I should be, like, giving some eloquent speech, and all I can say is it sucked. It, it was just a bunch of people, a bunch of people who didn't deserve to die, who died horribly. You know, like, it's just, it's it's awful. So, yeah, I'm, um... I'm not going to do my whole, you know, ending spiel now, because, again, I want this to be somewhat tasteful. Um, so, yeah, so thanks for watching, esteemed viewers. I'll see you in another video.